Dominic de Villa joined the Marine Corps when he was 19 years old, and now, five and a half years later, he's finding out what civilian life is like. But rather than do that back home in Chicago, he moved to Cape Cod in early April. I just trying something new. I really don't know what it's like to be an adult as a civilian, and I guess I'm really just experiencing all that now. From the time he was young, Davila wanted to become a police officer like his uncles and cousins. But he said the college route was not for him. So he joined the Marines figuring he'd serve four years, come home, and become a cop. But an improvised explosive device delayed those plans. On July 23, 2009, Davila was stationed in the Helmand River Valley of Afghanistan. He was the machine gunner in a Humvee on a mission with three other Marines to relieve another unit. Well, on the way out, one of our trucks was falling in the canal and we needed our tow straps. They had just relieved us. There was two trucks that relieved us on the canal. And uh, we went back to go grab them. Going back, we ran over uh, IED. Um, driver and vehicle commander were killed. Um, Lance Corporal Jeremy Lasher and Corporal Nick Exaros. Our corpsman was tossed out. I was tossed out of the gun. I was a below the knee amputee pretty much immediately. I woke up later on and uh, my leg was gone. My other leg, I, uh, I had a left tailless fracture. Uh, I was a limb salvage, so I ended up, was able to keep that one. My ankle was shattered. I have like five or six uh, screws and a metal plate in my ankle. It doesn't get much movement, but I'm able to walk, so I'm happy. A couple days after the accident, I tried finding Dom and the other um, Navy corpsman, um, Trevor Parr. They were the last people with my son, so that was important. Lisa Ixaros first spoke to Davila by phone while he was recovering from his injuries at the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. A few months later, Davila and his mother Elizabeth met the Ixaros family at a memorial for fallen Marines at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Once we met them, we started sharing our, our son's experiences. Ever since that, it's been a very close bond, you know, a lot of comforting. They're like family now to us, and at Cape Cod seems to be a, another home to us now. Nick's family's been just remarkable. I mean, the things that they've done with us, and they've come to Chicago, and we've spent some really, really good time mm -hmm. with them. Davila grew close to the Ixaros family and fell in love with Cape Cod. And as his discharge date approached, he made a life-changing request. My buddy's family um, took me in. I mean, uh, I asked if, I was, if, I, if they would let me stay here and uh, move up here. I, I visited a few times and I loved it. So definitely uh, decided to stay and start a new life after the Marine Corps. Well, he had been with us a lot. Like, he'd come up for the summer, or we'd go to Virginia, or we went to North Carolina, and we just all got along. It was like the perfect match. And he loved it here, so we said, well, come live with us, you know? And it finally happened. I mean, I, I joined the Marine Corps at 19, so I didn't really have any roots settled anywhere. I know I was getting out, and then I didn't really want to go back to Chicago right away. Um, I just wanted like a change of scenery and then I think we had spoken once and I might have said it was like a joke or something. She was like, yeah, absolutely. So then after that, it just kind of snowballed and eventually made it here. I think this is a place where he liked to kind of get readjusted back into the civilian life. I mean, whatever he wants to do, you know, we just 100% uh, behind him now. I think it's just weird that someone's son, who was in the Humvee with Nick, is now living with us. It's just unusual and it's strange, but it works. When Davila and Nicholas Ixaros first served together, Davila said they butted heads and didn't get along. But after spending a few months together in the same Humvee in Afghanistan, they became friends. I always think that Nick's probably laughing right now, saying, what the hell are you doing with Davila, you know? He really, I love him and he's funny, he's a great kid, but he's a city kid, you know, and he does his own thing and he probably hated Nick saying, do this to Villa, do that to Villa. So it's just wild that he's here. It's hard sometimes for all of us, I'm sure. Because here Dom is with us and our son isn't, but it's all good. It's like a gift in a way, Dom is. Uh, it's almost comforting to have 
one of Nick's like buddies here. I mean, I always love when they come up here and visit us anyways, but it's good to have them here 24 seven now. It's just like an instant connection with us actually. We, um, we get along really well because we're both kind of the same personality. We joke around like a younger sister and brother would. Um, he really gets along with our family and it's really nice having him here. Dominic and Alex now share a bedroom and hang out together, sometimes playing video games like Battlefield 3. He loves to cook and often makes dinner for the family. For now, he plans to take the summer off, the first in six years, except for his workouts at the Dungeon, a mixed martial arts center in Yarmouth. For the past couple of weeks, I've just been coming to Dungeon, uh, training with my trainer here, John Burke. Um, we come in about five times a week, um, some of the days twice a day. I'm just coming back here and trying to get back into shape. For Nick to make this connection with Dom, and then Nick to make the ultimate sacrifice, and then for Dom to come with us, it's surreal, it's beautiful. I'm proud. I'm, uh, I'm proud. I'm, and looking back years from now, I hope we can say that we made a difference in this young man's life. He deserves help. And, uh, but he doesn't look for handouts, you know. He'll earn his own way, that's the key. Earn your own way, that's what Marines do. We just want to try to um, give him a place to do it. And, uh, and it, it's real, so it's just a real thing that's happened to, to our family and, and to his family, and now we're all one family. Well, I'm planning on going to school in the fall and uh, doing that. And then once I get that done, um, I want to take um, as many police tests as I can and uh, see where it takes me from there.